Hello everyone, today we're going to demonstrate how to perform an OBD2 relearn on this uh, 2015 Chrysler 300 using the Snap-on Diagnostic Tool Apollo in conjunction with a Snap-on TPMS4 uh, tool. So the way they work in conjunction is first, first things first, we're going to connect the Apollo to the vehicle and then we're going to turn it on. Make sure the uh, key position is on the on position. The first page of the scan tool, we're going to select scanner. We're going to select the make, Chrysler. We're coming down to 2015. Here we're going to do an automatic ID. And the scan tool is looking for the information of the vehicle. Here it shows us the VIN, the year, and then the engine. So we're going to select yes. Where it says select system, we want to come all the way down. To where it displays tire pressure monitor, TPM. We're going to select yes. Here, uh, we are going to select system test. And as you can see, we have left front tire sensor, right front tire sensor, left rear, and right rear. So if I go to any of these options, I can select yes, continue, continue again. And then I can manually write the IDs of the new sensor, which in this case, I'm going to go back just for a second, system test. So I'm going to leave it on this page just for now. So my next option is to grab the TPMS4 and we're going to scan each individual sensors that we replaced to gather all the sensor information with the TPMS tool so we can come back and write it into the scan tool. So let's go ahead and do that first. So here we are with the Snap-on TPMS4. Uh, we're gathering the sensor information using this tool. So first when you turn on the tool we're going to select the option where it says relearn right here we're going to select the vehicle Chrysler 300 2015 here we have two uh, unique options one says relearn T with TPMS4 only and the other option is says relearn TPMS4 and scan tool Be because I'm using the diagnostics uh, diagnostic tool this is the option that I'm going to select here the TPMS tool gives us uh, information of how to proceed with work so we're going to select OK we're going to select four wheels and then I'm going to start reading the sensors but make sure that the antenna of the tool is right above the valve stem on the side of the tire press OK Moving on to the next tire, and then the last tire. Um, there we go. So now that we gather all the sensor information from the vehicle, as you can see, we have all the IDs here. I can move from the left front tire to the right front, to the right rear, to the left rear. So we're gonna go back inside the vehicle and we're gonna implement all these sensor IDs to the scan tool. Okay, so right now we're back in the inside the vehicle. So with the sensor information that we gather with the TPMS4, we're gonna implement that information to the Apollo Diagnostic Snap-on tool. So first we highlight the left front tire and it gives us this uh, sensor ID. We're going to take that information and we're going to implement it here uh, on the scan tool. So first I'm going to select program, left front tire sensor ID, continue, continue, sensor ID, and we're going to manually write that. So zero, 
D4, 2, 0, 8, 4. Once I uh, finish that, we're going to select Enter. And we're going to select OK. And then it verifies the ID number that we entered. So we verify and we hit Continue. Continue. Once it writes it to the EC of the vehicle, it brings us to the same page. So then we can select uh, right front tire, left rear tire, and right rear tire. And then we use the same procedure for all four tires. When that's how you write, uh, the manually write the IDs from the TPMS4 uh, to any Snap-on diagnostic tool. And that's what we mean by when you use them in conjunction with one another. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.